The position adjustment tool is a target tracking function and is used for finding your part as it moves throughout the field of view. The high speed position adjustment will use one or two axes to locate the part during each inspection and correct for any misalignment. When slight angle correction is necessary, use the two axis correction. If large angle correction is necessary, use the standard position adjustment tool. Let's go through an example. I'm going to use this position adjustment high speed simulator file to walk through step by step how to use and set up the high speed position adjustment tool. As you can see, I have a program currently set up and I am using a learning tool to determine if this side of the clip is fully inserted. And I currently have a standard position adjustment tool on this side of the clip. Before I jump into the high speed position adjustment tool, I want to show you why the standard tool is not good for a case like this. If I go into the operation simulation to show you my saved images, in this example, there is some Z height change with the part. So here you can see my clip is a little bit larger in the field of view because it's closer to the IV3 and my position adjustment tool is struggling at a 74% matching rate. However, here it's a little bit further away from the IV3 and my position adjustment tool has a matching rate of 100. So for examples like this, where there can be a little bit of change in the Z distance from the sensor, the standard position adjustment tool may struggle. However, this is great for the high speed or two axis position adjustment. So to show you that, I'm going to delete my current position adjustment and it will tell me I need to re-perform my learning. But first I'm going to add my high speed position adjustment tool, which is found under the extra one tab. When you add this tool, it will ask if you want to do a one axis adjustment or a two axis adjustment. If you're doing one axis, you will have to specify in which direction you want to find the edge. If you select two axis, you're going to be looking in both directions. And that is what I will show you here. So as you can see, I have a box for my X direction and a box for my Y. You can either switch back and forth over here on the right or simply by clicking on the boxes. I'll start with the X position. And as I put my window over my part, you can see that it finds this, this edge right here and places a green line to visually show me. You want to make the size of your window big enough so that it's able to find this edge as your part moves within this field of view. So for me, that's going to be about right here. And same thing for the Y. So right now I'm looking from top to bottom. That's what the arrow indicates. And so as I move my window over my part, it's going to look from top to bottom for that edge. And I'm going to make mine about this size. So that again, as my part's moving, it's able to find that edge somewhere within this window. You can change how the position adjustment tool will look for those edges. And one way you can specify is the scan direction. So for my Y position, I'm looking from top, but if I wanted to change this from bottom, now it's going to start at the bottom of my tool window and look up until it finds that first edge. Same thing for the X position, you can specify from left or from right. If I hop over into the extended functions, you can also specify the direction from either bright to dark or dark to bright as far as how it's looking for the edges. You also have the option for the master direction, which is just looking in the same direction as the default of the master, or you can select both. But for example, if I'm going from bright to dark and looking at my X direction, so starting from left to right, it's going to start right here where it's white and bright, and it's going to find that edge where it turns to black or dark. If I were to change this from dark to bright, my X axis can no longer find an edge because nowhere within this tool window does it go from dark to bright when you're looking left to right. I would have to change this to from the right in order to find this edge. So based off a combination of these settings, you can specify which edge you want to pick up. You can do the same thing for the Y direction as well. 
Finally, you have your edge sensitivity settings. If you click on this, it will show you a graph with the peaks showing the intensity of that edge. So for example, I can adjust my sensitivity and lower it to include this peak right here if I wanted to perhaps pick up on this edge. Um, same thing with this edge right here. You can see that has a small peak. But if I want to ignore those as edges, simply raise the sensitivity level. And now it will only find this edge on the very end, which has a greater intensity. So that sums up the settings of the high speed position adjustment tool. I'm going to hit OK. And I need to reperform my learning since I made some changes. So I'll simply, I already have my OK and no good images saved. I'll hit start learning. And now I will complete my program. So now let's compare how this two axis position adjustment works versus the standard position adjustment for this particular application. If you remember, this first image had a 78% matching rate for the standard position adjustment tool, but with this two axis, it's able to clearly find those edges and give a 100% matching rate for my good part. Here, again, it's able to find the positioning with 100% matching rate, and it's able to detect my no good part of the clip being not fully inserted. As you go through these examples, even if there is a slight change in the Z distance to the sensor, you can see this two axis position adjustment is able to stably detect the target each time. I hope this video helped explain how to use the high speed position adjustment tool, also known as the one or two axis position adjustment tool. But if you have any additional questions, please give our tech team a call at 888 Keyance Option 2 for tech support. Thanks and have a great day.